Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use an electric drum kit with the online PC version of BandLab. First, connect your electric drum kit to your computer. Personally, I use a WIDI Master plugged into the MIDI DIN out socket on my Yamaha DT Explorer and a WID Bud Pro plugged into the USB port on my computer. But if your drum kit has a MIDI USB port, simply use a USB cable. At the top left of the browser window, click on Add Track. Then click on Virtual Instruments on the pop-up menu. Now at the bottom left of the browser window, click on Instrument. The instrument pane will now open at the bottom of the browser window. At the left side of the instrument pane, your MIDI device should appear just below the words MIDI device. If not, click on the drop down list and select your MIDI device. At the left side of the instrument pane, just below the word instrument, Click on the drop down list. Click on Drum Kits on the pop up menu. Then click on a drum kit on the pop up menu. Here I will click on the Dry Drum Kit. Now tap on each pad of your electric drum kit. A drum icon in the middle of the instrument pane should light up green when you hit a pad on your electric drum kit. Here though, the kick drum, snare drum and two tom icons do not light up green. When I tap, the kick drum, snare drum and two tom pads on my electric drum kit. So these four pads need to be MIDI mapped. At the bottom right of the browser window, click on MIDI mappings. The drum icons in the middle of the instrument pane now turn pink. So first I will click on the snare drum icon so the icon is highlighted with a red border. And now, when I tap on the snare drum, a label is added to the snare drum icon, and the details of the MIDI mappings is added to the MIDI mappings list at the right side of the browser window. Next, I will click on the kick pedal icon, so it is highlighted red. and then tap on the kick pedal on my electric drum kit. And then I'll do the same with the two toms. At the bottom right of the browser window, click on MIDI mappings to close the MIDI mappings pane. Now, when I tap on the pads of the electric drum kit, all the drum icons turn green. When I tap the pads, notice that the ones I have MIDI mapped stay green to show these drums have been mapped. To record the electric drum kit, at the top left of the browser window, click on the metronome icon so it is blue. Then click on the record icon at the top of the browser window and start playing the electric drum kit. Then click on the stop icon to stop recording.
If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.